Hi everybody, how are you? How is everybody doing? I hope well, I hope having a blessed day. Um, I just, <coughs> so I went down to my shop to get some IOD, I, IOD stuff that I'd ordered so I could have, to make sure I have an accurate assessment. Did not find it, so what I'll be saying is I'm not sure if I do have an accurate assessment of my paints and my products so i am going i know i've got the new stuff everything else is willy-nilly so when you join please say hello i'm just going to be putting some brown on the inside of this to make it a little more um to make it work just the edges hey katie just to make it work with the um with the other parts of it so i just while we're coming live I'm just gonna add a little water to it and then we can dry it a bit. So, how is everybody doing? I will show you what I'm doing in case you wanna know. Let's do this and then I'll make that A and this can be B. There we go. So you can, all I'm doing is I'm just, I'm wetting it a bit and I'm just going around the edges and just gonna, it's not even a coffee dye. I'm just trying to make it look so it matches. Thank you, Katie, for coming. How are you, sweetie? So, I also have, I put some, I wanted to share, I've got some things on, I, I put some Monaghan papers on sale. And so, Maureen, if you jump on here, say hello to me. Hi, Debbie. Um, I'm just covering that up so when we glue it down, it's, you just don't see that white. And it's a little watery, but who cares? I love the way what water does to paper. So, and I thought we could work on this. I didn't get a chance to come down here and do this. Hey, Jenny. All I do is I take my um, Distress Oxide pad and I step it down on um, my glass to get some, to spread it out. I'm doing good. Okay, the saga. Let's talk about, remember I told you that we lost the keys, right? Okay, more to tell. Um, well, so, I'm just putting a little um, vintage vintage photo. Here it is. I'm wetting it. Let's see if we can. There we go. Vintage photo from Tim Holtz. I have two of these, y'all, and I love them. I go right through them, so that's always fun. Um, from Tim Holtz. And it's. I love how the oxide works with water. And so remember, this is going. This is going to cover here. So when it shows up, so we may need to do a little bit more. Maybe put some red on there. So let's let that dry. Maybe we'll. Okay. I'm gonna go solo. Let me tell you what happened with the keys. All right. So my life's a little crazy right now. I'm just gonna tell you my little world is nuts right now. Um in my home because I have a fourth of my shop. My son moved home from college. I'm a mess anyway. I'm not a, I'm not a good housekeeper and I normally, I love having help. I will, I will eat peanut butter and jelly. I'll eat peanut butter, I'll eat a peanut butter sandwich every day just to have one a month somebody come and help. But I've, I haven't had a lot of help lately because my person's been going through some drama and trauma. Anyway, so it's, 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 I can't even tell you. There's like Ikea boxes upstairs and boxes from, for cabinets from Amazon. And, you know, I have product everywhere and, and then you just put my normal mess on top of it. So it's just like, um, and so we couldn't find his keys. That's what my husband, my husband, my son said today. He, we couldn't find him. He, I was with my son who got allergy tested today, all on his back. As I was sitting there, he calls me, he's like, Mom, I, the, the keys aren't in the car and the alarm's going off, where are you? And I was like, I'm at the doctor with your brother. And he was like, what? So he's mad at me. He's on the spectrum, so he wants me here all the time. And so then he, um, yeah, he, then I get home and we can't find the keys. And he's sure, he's sure. Now, get this, hey, Miss D, he's sure. And hello to YouTube, everybody. Facebook and YouTube, I haven't done that yet. He's sure when I washed his pants for him, I was helping him get all caught up when he got back from, when he came home from school. 
he said, I did something with it when I washed his pants and didn't check his pockets. I was like, hold on, babe. And I said, you need to check yourself real quick. I have a gnat flying around. I said, you need to check yourself real quick. And then he goes, and you, we, we need a storage unit. We've got to clean this place up. Now, he lives in squalor all the time. So, I'm just kind of like, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I forgot to put my earrings on. I remember I had them and I forgot to put them on. So, finally, I said, honey, I'm going to go look in your room. Because he said he looked all in his room. I'm going to go look in your room. This will finish me off a bit. And I am going to look around and then, and I need to do it without you. Because he'll say, don't touch that, don't touch that. So I got in there and I started sorting. And within 10 minutes, guess what I found? The keys. We were going to buy, we went all the way to the dealer to buy new ones to replace them. And it was going to be $450. And my husband thought, let's look again. Okay, I got a giveaway coming up. So, oh, and I was just like, what? What have I done wrong? What have I done? Everything. Good story. Okay, so this, I have this. This is a little bit different. So, here's another story about this. I have two of these. Actually, three. Let me show them to you. Three of them. Does this come up? I think this may come out. Yes, this comes out so you can move it around and use that. This gives you all these pans. I'm going to, and I have an extra one of these. Hi, Cindy. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a giveaway with this. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to fill it up with watercolor paint from my from my bins, which are right here. And then let it dry, because they can dry. And then I will send it to you full of my paint, so you can, whoever wins, can start watercoloring. And so this is plastic. It washes out really well. Um, honestly, and I have one for me too, so I have an extra one so we can craft together, but that's what I'm going to do. So excited about that. I wanted to share that because I need to do a giveaway because guess what, guys? Isn't it? Yes, guess what? I made it to 1,800 on Facebook today, so thank you. I put a thing out. It's like, guys, I am three away from 1,800, and I'm 1,801. So we're celebrating, and I have to, I love to do giveaways, guys. So, all you, gotta do to do, all you have to do to get in the giveaway is make comments. Just say hello and engage. And anybody who makes a comment, I'm putting your name on the list. And then I'm going to draw your name out and I will get your address and I will send it to you free of charge. I pay for everything. Booyah. And it comes right to you. So how fun is that? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so I lost my page a year ago, April. No, a year ago, February. And I went from having like 2,600 to zero. Hey, Maureen, let me tell you what's going on with the Monahan papers, sweetheart. There's a whole, there's a whole section I can't find. And I've looked all over the place. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until, oh, thank you. Yeah, let's give me the 2,000. I'd love it. I'll do a major giveaway at 2,000. Um, that's only 200. So what this is what i'm going to tell you all about my monahan papers on my website tomorrow's the new stuff from iod if you're interested in that it's going to be up um oh my gosh you are slow i'm not even going to talk about that thank you liz um i'm so glad y'all came and joined me i have um i can't find any of my monahan paper the rest of them so maureen i'm going to send to you everything i can find and i'm going to mark down what i can't find okay and when I can find it, I'll ship it to you. But what I want you to do, everybody, I have marked down probably 10 pages of Monaghan paper, 10 sheets to 30 cents each. Y'all, they're good for lining your drawers. Okay. And I want to preface, I'm not totally sure about the amount. So if you buy it and it comes up, I don't have it, I will reimburse you. I'm going to go in and reimburse you, Maureen, for all those that I don't have. And then, so I will make it right. You know, I'll make it right. So... Um, just, but if y'all want to do that, if you want to get some, they're my black and whites and chalk ones. And I just have a bunch and I'm just needing to, I'm just needing to get rid of those and start fresh. I may even reorder them again, but I'm, I, you know, I just want to, I want to do it. Yeah, no, they're not. I found them. I found them in a, like a Kroger bag or a garbage, a, 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 
um, grocery bag tied up with all his plastic containers from his apartment. And he said, where would, where'd you find it? And, and, and then he was like, well, I wonder how it got there. And I thought, it is actually, Cindy, here's the cool thing about this quilt. It is made, and there's a date on it. It was made in 18, oh my gosh, it is my ex-husband's family's quilt. It was 1882. 1882. Sorry, sorry about my big self in front of y'all. 1882. It is, it is all silk. It is completely, completely rotting. I don't know what to do about it. My ex just keeps leaving it here. Love him. So, it's a real quilt. It hung in my mother-in-law's house for years, but it got hit by sun. And so, the silk is just, just if you touch it, it just falls off. Yeah. So, um, Monaghan Papers. Oh, let me show you. I may have some down here that are folded up. Let me see if I've got some I can show you. Do I have any Monaghan papers in here? Maybe, 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 maybe I do. Okay, so these are, they are placemat size papers, guys. Placemat size papers. And I have all different kinds. It is beautiful, I know. And um, thank you, Dee. I'm, let me point you down. So they are um, 11 by 17, and I have all different kinds of, you know, marble, and these are marble ones. I have I have people on them. There's all kinds of different. So if you go in and put Monaghan papers, you can find them there. And normally I said they're just a dollar piece, but I have a few. Which there's, there is still at a dollar, y'all, because they're really nice. Um, I have a few. I have several, maybe a dozen that are 30 cents each. So let's get this going, and let's get busy. Okay, so I decided... And I was totally going to do how to do what you do with junk journal. And I I was picking one up at the shop and I thought, let's just play. And because I found my Royce paper and then I found my IOD and I was so excited because I thought I had all the new stuff I'd ordered. Not the new, new stuff, just the stuff to replenish that I had not been ordering. And then, and then I found this bin, which is like my favorite thing, which has all my papers in it that I love. I just lost the plot and totally forgot the book. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this. We're also going to work on the master board we started, if I can find that. Somewhere in this area. There we go. My, my, um, and so we're going to work on this. Remember, we made this little flip out yesterday. This is my art journal. We don't need that. We made that yesterday. And so, we may going to work on this a little bit and work on the master board. And what I also thought we could do, if you all are interested. Okay. Oh, and I found this paper, which is super cute. Um, no, where is it? Okay, here we go. I'm going to make some bulk little snippets with this. So, lots to do tonight. We'll see what we can get done. We're just going to play because I really have the... the um, the thank you, Arsula. The um, the shop has had some progress. Has had some progress going forward. Found a little set of acrylic paints that I had forgotten. You can go in and get these. I got them half off. So this is my watercolor ones, and I got them for ten dollars. I don't know how long ago, but I'm gonna take these and put as much as I can. It wouldn't be cheap to do, but that quilt could be placed on. A oh yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it is literally like ten by ten. Eight by eight. Yeah, and it's not my family, Ursula. I, you know, and not that I don't care for my kids' family, but I got my own fish to fry. You know, I'm trying to keep the, my own family stuff. So let's play a little bit with these acrylics on here and see what we can do with that fun. And my son, he had all kinds of stuff from him. Um, he gave me this, his Burton Sienna, he didn't use because he took an art class and he didn't need it, so I'm adding that to the collection. But I think it'd be fun to put some yellow, let's put this white, and then we're gonna add white too. But let's put some bright yellow on here, which I think will be really fun. And we're gonna use this little card to do it, just to give us a little bit of brightness. Mm-hmm. 
we could use a brush if we wanted to, and maybe we should. Oh, wow, that's really yellow. That brightens it up, doesn't it? It almost takes it like neon. How fun is that? I'm a good 80s girl. I'll take, it, I'll take some neon. Oh my gosh, I was talking to these two lovely people today, and and we were sitting there, and I was like, how old are y'all? And one says, I did. They were like, uh, yes, oh yes, 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 yes. The one was 41, and the other was 39, and I was just like, I vaguely remember that at those ages. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, vaguely, 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 vaguely. So we're getting some really nice hot colors underneath here, aren't we? Let's put, let's put just a little bit of red, maybe. This is scarlet. Let's put a little bit of red. Yeah, I, I'm that way about blue, Cindy. I love, I love a bit of blue. And this is going to make us a little bit of, oh, come on orange, you know, which will be fun. And then we're going to let this dry. We're going to go on and we'll come back to it. We'll let it dry for just a second. And we're going to come in, then we're going to blend out all these crazy wild colors and textures. Get some of that red, make it a little orangey, and then we'll get to work. All right, let's let that dry. So, what on earth would I do with these things? You're probably wondering why would I even want to. So, I'm gonna cut like for my paper cutter, couldn't find it. I'm gonna cut just oh, let's cut these right here maybe or maybe this one let's cut this one out right here and we're gonna work with this little I just blended my watercolors and just made little squares because I thought it was fun hi Marcia how are you hello hello um, I just thought it was fun so this is kind of like a mass making little snippet thing for um, journaling or it can be anything you know it can be whatever we want. Like we could even take a little bit of lace to put over one. So there's lots of options, lots of different options to be had. And some string, some more lace. Maybe we could even cut something out of that. I don't know. We're just gonna play. And we have a bunch of scrap papers, you know, that we can do something with. So it's just kind of a little play date. So uh, did I tell you, I remember I told you, I don't know if I told you about this, these happy bits. I got them from somebody. Don't think it was me originally. I'm not that smart. But they just take all their scrap paper and they put it in a bucket and then they just spray like um, oxide sprays in there, inks, paints, and you mix it up and you just keep filling it up and it just gives you some gorgeous little papers with all kinds of fun stuff that you can actually layer and use and create with. So how fun is that? We could even take part of this little snippet if we wanted to and put one on top of it. Ooh, let's do that. That will be fun. Let's do that. I don't know. Ursula, I, I'm not into rules and regulations. <laughs> I'm a bit of a free spirit. You do whatever you want. And if whoever is, if they have a problem, you just send them to me. Because that's a bit redonkulous. You know what I'm saying? That's just a bit, that's a bit crazy. That's just, that's just, that's just nuts. I'm just, that's just, no, no, no. Ursula, you do whatever you want to do, baby. You do you, and you let them do what they do. I mean, in my journal, my art journal is just paper. I mean, I'm going to, I can watercolor. You can watercolor on whatever you want. You don't have to watercolor just as somebody wants you to. 
That's kind of nuts. If I had a hole punch, it's been really cute to punch it with water. Oh, uh, Marsha, I'm probably going to be doing a lot in the evening because I'm, you know, running around and during the day trying to figure out a trip to Ikea. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, You know, I'm thinking I'm not going to be opening until mid-July. So, you know. Yes, so this would be cute. We can just put that right there. Oh, how cute is that? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't I have some with gold on it? I thought I had some with some gold. You know, I love a good shimmer. I love a good shimmer. Somewhere, some way, somehow, someday. Huh, huh. That's fun. This is like a scrap Royce paper that got colored on, which is super fun. Okay, so I'm wondering if we want to layer, maybe, let's take that lace ahead. And let's add that lace, like right, let's cut some of this. There we go. And we're just going to lay that right there. Let's put a little glue on all this. Yeah, I'm just like, uh, are there really rules in art? Am I crazy? Oh, Cindy, well, I will be back and forth, but, uh, you know, you can always catch me replay. It's not like, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm like that bad rash that won't go away. <clears throat> Lord, I just about swallowed my spit again. I did that yesterday. Hey, Portia, how are you? If I've missed you, say hi to me again, please. So, I just put some, this is just, this is just stretchy lace. It's not even old. I think it's new. I don't even know where I got it from. So, you know, I'm just going to add this right here. Let's put it up here and cover that white spot. I don't want it to be white. And let's do that. Put a little lace on there. That's fun. Okay. And then we can do a little bit. We need a little bit of shimmer. Let's just add some, shall we? I mean, I have some gold paint here. And there's some there. There's some There's some right there, but let's just add a little bit of... Oh, I hate Mars right his hands. Let's just push it out since I can't get it to come out. And just take a little brush. Ow, that hurt. These knuckles are screaming at me, y'all. Mmm. So I'm just going to go in with just a little bit of this and just kind of put some gold just on the edges. Oh, if I had my, if I had my um, DIY, I would put my golden ticket, which is a great shimmer. But you know what? We're gonna use what we got right now. We're gonna make it work. I did find my paint, some of it. So if you want to order paint, order at your own discrepancy. I do not have the transfers. I'm not pre-ordering those. Those will be up when I get them. I did order them, though, so yes. Um, but I will be going live tomorrow with the new products. Let's put a little shimmer on this go on this green, too, just a little bit. Just on the edges a bit, maybe. I've got that awesome gold watercolor, but I just don't feel like getting that out. I am going to grab a little water, though. And see if I can. Okay, there we go. So we've got that all nice and shimmery. Yay to that. And so let's just go ahead and cut this. We're going to cut this right like that. Making a little bit of something. I don't know what, but just a little bitty bit of something. Maybe. Maybe, right like that. We'll glue that on there. Maybe we should dry these. Okay, any questions? Anybody? Let me hold this. What are we working on? Tell me what you're working on. I'd love to find out. What are you working on? <laughs> that was fun.
Oh, uh, I have not in my house. No, here's the unfortunate thing. I've been in this house for 20 years almost. It's the longest place since my mama's house that I've lived. I've got to purge because my children are not going to like me very much if I don't. Let's just say that, shall we? I'm not going to like me at all if I don't do something with this mess that's in this house. Let's take this little flower right here. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to cut it or not. These are not my fabric scissors, which I don't know where they are. I don't know where anything is. I really don't know. I'm going to fray this up. This was just some fabric, and I dyed it, I think, with IOD, with DIY paint. IOD. With some DIY paint. So, this will be fun to put on there. So let's let's lay that right like that. Let's put that on there. Uh, I'll, How are you doing? Can y'all hear my husband? He's right here. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna lay this like right here. A little snippet. And then we need some like words or something, don't we? We need like a little thing of words. Let's 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 tear this up a bit more it kind of looks a little boho -y, doesn't it like that layer that in and then we'll put a word across there oh 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 yay jenny can't wait hi cheryl oh please please guys if you're in my creative tribe i would love for you all um to go in and share your projects you're working on. Inspire us all. We all want that. Okay, so that's super cute. I feel like it needs a little verbiage, perchance. Let me see if I can find some. I thought I had a little bit of um, oh, one of those papers that I did. And I cut out some words. I printed some. It was for Valentine's, but I was like, oh, that's okay. We'll make them. I printed them, and there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mhm. Mhm. Let's just cut out this flower one right in here. This is for Valentine's, but you know. Oh. It's okay. Listen to Molly. She's getting involved. Can y'all hear my dog? Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. You know what? I just decided God has something wonderful planned, and I'm just going to let go and let him take care of it, and I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I found this awesome quote. I think it was from Toby Mac. I wonder if I'll have to share it. It was so good. And so, we don't want fiance. We want flowers. But we also want it to be a little more colorful, don't we? I'm going to take this solo so I can pull y'all in. And you can see a little closer what we're doing. Because we're so far away. Aren't we? So let's... We can... And we're going to work on this edge. Oh, oh, oh. What have I done? Where did that gold come from? Ha! Okay. Well, I'm just getting it everywhere, aren't I? Let's just clean it up with some paper. I have no idea where that gold came from all the way down here next to me, but it's on something. I should probably find it. Is it back here? Is it up there? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we'll tap this on top of it. Let's put some shimmer chunks on there. Okay. Let's put a little color on our flowers. What color? And we're just going to put it like right there across the top. How fun is that? Got that cute flower right there. And that was all from scraps. The only thing it wasn't scrap was the watercolor thing. And honestly, you can't even see it because I've covered it up. But we could even put the flowers down like this. Maybe we'll do that. Or like this. Maybe we'll do that. Then we can still see the piece. But I was just playing around. You don't have to. Probably should be bigger too. I don't know. But it needs a little color, doesn't it? I want to put some brown on it because I want it to kind of match a little bit of the vintage vibe we got going on. So where would I put this? You, want, you might ask. I'll show you. 
where would I put that? And then let's put, let's put a little purple on here. I've got it right here. That works, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, I'd like to have just a pop of, let's see if we can get a little of this, this shimmer on there. You're going to have to tell me how to say your name. Yes, I'm from um, Brazil. Thank you so much for joining us. I've, I'm honored that you would even want to watch, so thank you. I'm going to throw this down like that and see if we can't get a little shimmer going on with it. Not totally, but I like how it turned out, so we're going to keep it like that. All right, let's clean up this mess. I'm going to dunk this in some gold so it can be shimmery and maybe do that a bit. Tap it around. Spread it around. Let's not waste this gold paint, shall we? No. And then we'll clean it up. We can even stick it down in the pink. That would be fun. Ooh. Like that little happy mistake. That is awesome. Looky there. Totally. Love that. Okay, now let's clean up. Clean up after yourself, Beth. Jeez Louise, we want that to go on there. So let's clean up this paint. Let's set all this aside. And then we'll go on to the next thing we want to play with. Yes, okay. All right. Okay, Woo. So we're gonna let that dry, and then we're just gonna glue that. Let's just go ahead and glue it. We can glue it wet, who cares? Yes, okay, so I'm not sure. Y'all know I'm a little brain damaged, so I don't, I'm not great with pronouncing names, okay? But thank you for joining me. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Yeah, on YouTube, I so appreciate it. Kinda cute, isn't it? So what can we do with this? Let me show you real quick. Nope, that's not what I want to show you. Where is it? There's like, okay, so if we had a pocket, which I have down here, let me find one. Like we had this pocket and we wanted to decorate it. We could totally just, we could forego this little mini pocket here and we could glue that right like that and then you're done. If you wanted to zhuzh it up, you can. You could go in and you could cut this a little bit straight No, well. I'm missing my paper color cutter as well, but you could totally go in, glue this right here. We could spray this thing. Oh, thank you so much. Guys, you were just lovely. You're so sweet. You really are, I so appreciate it, because I'm just a hot mess, people. Y'all know that, right? I'm just a mess. I'm just a mess. Press that down. And then we would just glue that on there. And look at that. How cute is that? And then you've got pockets for a journal. Oh, awesome, Liz. I'm so obsessed with journal making and paper crafting. It's a bit of an addiction. Yes. Okay. Let's clean this up. And I need to empty my garbage can down here. It probably has like banana in it from a year ago. And that's why I have gnats. Who knows? Okay, let's go back to our, let's work on this. What are we gonna do with this? It's pretty dry. Let's add some, let's add some white paint, shall we? And see what we can do. I don't, we'll see if this brush works. I don't even know where I got it. Okay, Thais, okay, Thais, I can do that. I can totally do that. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna add myself back in there. There we go. So we're gonna add some white to this, just to kind of tame it down. Okay, and I put a bunch up in that corner, didn't I? And we just, it's, it's kind of, it seems like it's a bit of, um, to do it, layer, paint over it, do it, layer it, paint over it. I wish I had some stencils. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I don't, 
but we could totally, but you, you can still see the colors. Do you see what I'm doing, guys? You can still see the colors. And let's see if we can scrape some. Thank you, okay. Thais, okay. I will try to remember that. I'm a redneck from Kentucky that is brain damaged. So, but I try, I do always ask if you can help me pronounce it, I would appreciate it. Thank you for joining me, I'm so honored. Oh my goodness, what's your favorite thing to craft about? Guys, share your favorite crafts with me, I'd love it. Look, doesn't that make a difference putting the white? Can you all see the difference? It is just kind of, it. we still have the color, but it's, let's do just a little bit more. It makes it a little more cohesive. Does that make any sense? Yeah, uh, it totally, totally makes it from, you know, garish to more boho. So we're just gonna go in here and just blend out those colors a little bit. Just mute them down. How fun is that? Oh my goodness, love it, love it, love it. Isn't that fun? Look at that already. Isn't that, it turned out good, didn't it? I'm actually a little surprised, to be honest with you. And I'm always surprised if something turns out good. It's always kind of like, yay, happy accident. <laughs> happy accident. I think I need to pull you out just a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of all over the place a little bit because my little face was getting in the way. But I like to be able to talk to you. Okay. That is hilarious. Oh, hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. So what else could we do to this? We need to do some stamping or something. Let's see, I've got some stamps in here. Let's just pull out this butterfly stamp and let's do this. I don't know what color we're gonna do. Really, I don't have any inks. Oh, I do, yes I do, I'm lying to you. Yes I do, yes I do. We're gonna do some blue if it's, yep, there we go. We're using some China blue. It's um, IOD, and I have these little ones from classes, and it's all I can get my hands on, so I'm just winging it the best I can. Oh, Maureen, thank you. <gasps> no, <laughs> Ursula, yes, you can holler at me. That's okay. I have no problem with anybody hollering at me. <laughs> holler away, holler away. Okay, let's, I'm going to put another one. Don't, don't freak out just yet. Here's the, th here's the best thing about mixed media. If we hate it, guess what we can do? Paint right over it. We're just gonna paint right over it. Paint right over it. Paint right over it. And nobody is, nobody can, t you know, I can do whatever I want. It's kind of my, you know, it's my business. I'm gonna just take this butterfly halfway off, kind of, sort of this way. And then I'm gonna also take it and not re-ink it and just kind of um, have it come down just a really faded one just to get some of it on there you know just kind of just keep making it fader you know finer and finer until it doesn't ink anymore because we're going to paint over this y'all know that right you do get that <laughs> you do know that we're going to we are going to tweak it a bit okay so Gotta get my heat gun. It's all the way down here. I can't wait till I get my setup again or I work on this one. We're just gonna dry that ink. But I can show you a quick little technique if you don't want to wait. How hot is that? It's a little hot. Not super hot, but it's a little hot. You can always take just plain. Oh, come on. Just park right there, don't fall down. Plain copy paper, if you don't wanna wait and go on here and you can just rub over it and it will soak up that ink especially on this kind of project I don't really care I don't even care if it smears or anything I mean that would be fun to use so I'm just gonna make sure this is dry and then I got something else we're gonna do yes there's something about white that pulls it together and I didn't learn that till I went to that Lynn Brundage thing 
that she had at her shop a couple years ago where I met Miss Lee, who I love, dear friend of mine, and met some wonderful friends. Um, Paula, I can't, I know the names, y'all, but you know I'm brain damaged. If I see your face, I know you and love you. So, um, is that dry? This is actual paint peeler finger out thing, so it, it's really hot. I brought over, which I thought might be fun, some color pencils. I can't find my watercolor pen crayons or my watercolor pencils. Can't find any of that, but that is okay. And I thought, why don't we go in with just a little bit of some... I bought this and I've yet to use them. And just go in and try to add some color in places. I don't even know if it's going to show up or not. I don't even know. We're just going to see. It might work. It might not. I don't know. I wish they were watercolor. That would be awesome. But they're not. So we're just going to try them and see if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then we'll stop. But I thought it might be fun to kind of love on these butterflies a bit in some ways. And then to go in on the papers and just put in some extra lines. You know, this is kind of showing up, isn't it? Just a little bit. Yeah. This is totally what G does. Liz, you can totally do it. You can totally do that. Anyway, so we would go on. We can do that. I can totally show you how we would do that. Let's use part of this in my art journal if y'all want to. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Let's put a little bit of, let's put a little, let's, let's, let's knock it down just a little bit with some brown maybe. Just a little bit. I don't know. We may end up painting right over it. I wish these were watercolor pencils. They are not. Because then we could blend it, you know, which is always so fun to blend. Somebody's here. I don't know who. Or there is a possible dangerous wind outside my shop. My house. I'm not in my shop. <laughs> I'm not in my shop yet, but we're getting there. So you're just you're just adding texture any way you want to. And then you can always go in and I like this gold one. I can't get these out. First of all, I have no nails because I hate them. I was, I was seeing if maybe they were watercolor. I didn't know. So this is kind of a gold, which is awesome. I actually had a house. My, old, my house with my former husband, my ex-husband. We had walls that were this color. They were gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And it was greens and reds and yellows. It was so pretty. In a former life. And then I moved here and I wanted nothing. <laughs> Nothing like that life with him. <laughs> I changed everything. No reminders. I got over that. I went really modern and then I came back to my kind of traditional way. I don't know. Okay. So there we go. So you can continue. You can do as much or as little as you want. You could also go in and add some watercolor if you wanted to. Let's... What colors? I'm going to put that in water so I don't lose it. We're still letting that dry a bit. What have we got would be fun on here? <sighs> oh, let's see if we can. Not, never, it never works, but let's just see if it does. This is called um, Shimmer Spray. It's white linen, and it's got some shimmer in it, but it never shows. But let's just see if we can maybe give this a go. Okay. And then... There we go. I was looking for this. Is what I think I want to do, and then I have this gold shimmer. Where is it? Here it is. Or it's um, it's pure sunshine. It's gorgeous. Oh, hello, hello. 
okay, you gotta help me say your name from Canada. I am Thais from Brazil. If you're still here, say hi to me, let me know. Guys, if for this is what I'm giving doing a giveaway. And for any when you comment on my um any comment on my probably this week, yesterday, today, this week, I'm I'm gonna pull the name from people who comment on my page. So this is Sun, something sunshine. And now we're going to spread it. Let's see if what happens. Ooh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? That's kind of fun. I feel like summer. Okay, awesome. I can say that. Thank you, summer. <laughs> so, I don't know what's on the beginning of that, but lovely. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> it's the first part of your name. Is it a business or something? Is that what it is? Help me understand that. Um, I want to maybe make it a little more cohesive, so I just don't know what I want to do to make it cohesive. You know? I love the butterflies. I feel like... All I do is put white on. Yes, I'm gonna. I want to splatter. Um. I I know. Isn't it? I know. I know. Um. I want. To, I'm totally want to splatter, but I want it to be a little more cohesive color. Like I don't know if I want it to be pink. Maybe let's put a little bit of this on here. This this picked raspberry and see um, if we can and then then splatter with white is what I would like to do so this may have been too much I don't know I kind of was wanting just okay I'm gonna get just a little bit of white paint sorry guys I'm going back to the white paint because I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. And so, you know, I'm the best at teaching you what not to do, right? I don't want it to be Pepto Bismo, though. I don't want it to be like a sticky pink. That's just miserable, you know. Who likes Pepto Bismo? Ooh. Except when you're sick, I do. <laughs> but I don't like it in my house or my projects. Yeah. Okay. My summer, my favorite designer is from Canada, Sarah Richardson. I love her so much. I used to dream of winning the lottery and having her come and do my house. I mean, I'll, I love to do houses too, so, <laughs> but I love, I love a consultation. <laughs> so that eases it up some, doesn't it? Yeah, it's easing it up just, just a little bit. Look at that nice little juicy bit of acrylic nonsense right there. Okay. You know what I think would be fun? I like that, but splatter it with some um, what is it? Peacock feathers. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to get a little brush. We're going to spray it out right here. Get a little brush. Add a little water. And see if we can't splatter that way. We'll see. fun and then I think I will splatter with gold too that turned out kind of cute okay we totally can summer yes I don't know if you follow me but I would love for you to the sprays these are distress oxide sprays they're the same thing as the pads but they're sprays so you 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 know I just I don't have this color 
in a pad. So I have all different ones. You can do anything with them. So, and it's all Tim Holtz. And I used to not think I would like them, and I love them. So we're gonna let this dry a bit, okay? Let's leave that alone. I think I want to splatter on top of this. If you all want me to remind you what this little um, snippet roll is, it, we did this last night. You can go back and watch it, but we made it out of um, packing tape. And we just taped down um, Man, I love that turquoise. That's so pretty. Just some, just some random. Isn't that splatter pretty? Oh, good. Okay. Awesome, Summer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. I, I need to go in and look. It's, I don't, I can't always remember it. I don't always keep up. This has packing tape on the back. We just glued it to packing tape. Not glued it. We just stuck it on there. We didn't really glue it. Okay, let's not waste this bits right here. Let's do that right there. Add that. And then let's put some on this gold. See how that looks? I don't like to waste anything that's like this. So I'll always go in and add color to whatever I can. Yep, okay. There we go. We'll let you dry. We're gonna clean it up. So I've been playing for about an hour. I'm sorry, guys. I should probably quit. A couple of things. So, I, you know, I hope if I, if I do nothing else, I give you permission to play. It's okay to play. My favorite thing is just to be mindless. And, oh, look, let's get that off of there. A really important rewards card that I don't use for Eddie Bauer. Um, I love to play. You know, I've never been to, I've never been to, um, Summer, I've never been to Mount Niagara Falls, but I have a good friend who lives in Buffalo. I should come up and see her. We'll come find you. Are you close to the falls? Because that would be fun. She's in Buffalo, and I have a friend who's in Medina. So, And um, another friend who is in, oh gosh, where's Peggy? I have two. Fr I, have, I have three friends up in um, New York. Oh my gosh, where is Peggy? I know she is. Where is she? Oh my goodness. Darien Farms, is that it? So, yeah, okay. Let's, let's stop. Y'all don't need to watch me clean. Anyway, just give yourself permission to play, all right? Just give yourself permission. And that's what I'm gonna be doing, guys, because tomorrow I'm gonna be playing with some of the new IOD stuff. I will be going live. I'll just do it again tomorrow night. So Peggy is in Darien. Yes, what's your last name? I know her last name. And what's the name of her shop? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for coming to my rescue, as you always do. So, guys, um, real quick, Monaghan papers are on sale. Um, I have new Royce papers that I'm getting up. They're new to me. They're not new to everybody. I was late in ordering them because you all know I was kind of struggling at my shop. So, but things are on the upswing. It's looking great. The new shop is looking good. We are moving forward. Things are getting accomplished. Lord two things to talk about. Um, my subscription box is open. My Sorry Silk and subscription trim box is open and purchasable for the next month. If you want to get on that, it's $17 a month. And um, Tyrell, Darien County Country Cottage. Thank you. Thank you. I know her, but you know I always panic when I have to come up with somebody's name. Um, uh, my subscription box is open. You can find that there. It's super cute. We have all kinds of, where's my box? I can show you the box. It's Sorry Silk. You get 10, you get one yard of 10 different Sorry Silks that I curate for you. I don't, oh, you know what? My box, I shipped it, so sorry. Um, and um, then also my Creating with the Creator is, is going to be coming up this month, this week. We're opening that up and I'm choosing a day to do that and that's a fun, um, membership group where we craft, we love on Jesus, and we you get digitals. And then um, the chosen to create, there are just a few left, y'all. People are jumping on it. So if you're interested in that, that is coming up in less than a month for me. Super excited. I will be presenting there. So excited. Making a special box just for you all. And um, so that information is there. If you're interested, just put a... Um, 
note to tag me in a comment and I will send the link to you in the comments. So, new, new IOD stuff tomorrow and you all, it is yummy. Can I say that? So yummy. I'm always amazed. I'm always amazed. They've been giving you some snippets. I'm always amazed at how gorgeous it is. And they always come back and they always do something amazing. Um, and I will be coming live tomorrow night at 7 and I will be using some of the products and we can talk about it. I might go earlier and then do it again at 7, but I'm gonna, let's do 7 o'clock every night this week. How about that? Just go ahead and put it on your calendar and we'll be crafting every night at 7. So, um, what is my tip for today? <laughs> tips, tips, tips. Yesterday I didn't call one, but the tip is use your packing tape to make a snippet roll. Make sure if you use, whenever you put your ink down, go down and um, swap it up. Don't waste any of it. <clears throat> Don't waste any of it. I've, I've swallowed my spit the wrong way. Okay, friends. I will talk to you later. I will see you tomorrow. They are going to be, I think it's 11 o'clock our time, 8 o'clock Pacific. Is that right? Yes, every night at 7, I'll be here. Let's just do it. I was going to do a marathon, so let me see. Maybe just like during the week marathon, not seven days a week, but every Saturday, but every night at 7, we could do that, which would be totally fine. And um, maybe Monday through Thursday, give me a Friday night date night with my man. And we will, um, or if I'm on a trip. So, guys, y'all be blessed. Have a great day. And... Oh no, Summer, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be going live at 7 every night. So guys, I would love to anything. Okay, 9 a.m., 12. Thank you, Lee. See, I need a committee. Look, y'all, I bit my tongue today. I bit my mouth and I got a big sore. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Can you see that? It's swollen. You can see it. It's swollen right there. And I just took a big hunk out of it. At Chick-fil-A this morning, breakfast with my son. All right, I'm going to get to playing and cleaning up, and I will see y'all tomorrow. And I may go live during the day because I'm excited about the products, but okay. Bye, guys. Be blessed. Go make somebody's day. Be kind. Be loving.